All right, folks, in this week, it's more of a technical tip. Coming from Illustrator, there's something called Offset Path. So one of the people in our Skillshare classes asked how to do this in Affinity Designer. So this lesson is going to be for the desktop. And after this, I've got the lesson for Affinity Designer on the iPad. So let's go ahead and just make a really simple type of a look here. So this all involves the stroke panel. So let's go ahead and find the stroke panel here. Uh, if you don't have it, you go up to file and let's go to studio and make sure the stroke panel is highlighted. Make it a solid line and let's make it black. All right, good deal. So we got this thing with black. We're in good shape. All right, let's make another ellipse and make this thing kind of white. Let's say let's take the stroke off this thing now and let's make this just kind of an off white. All right, so what we've got in reality, we've got an eyeball. All right, so the eyeball is what we're gonna use here. It's a very simple two ellipses form an eyeball. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to hold shift and we're going to select them both. We're gonna right click and we're gonna group. All right, so we got this group, let's call it I. All right, now this came about when she was making a plush doll for spoon flower. So now, in order to offset the path, we're gonna come down here. We're gonna go ahead and let's just duplicate this and drag it up above and now place it below. So we're gonna call this background. All right, now, what should take one click in Affinity Designer takes about four or five different operations, but once you get the idea down, it's all the same. So with the background selected, you're going to come in here and you see that you're going to align the stroke to the outside. So literally make sure this is selected. Make sure that you have the stroke selected here. And now crank that bad boy up. Now you see because it's on the outside, look at what this does. Now what this is going to do for you, this is going to set your seam path, right, for the pattern this is how far away that new outline is going to be. So step one, create your background. Step two, align the stroke to the outside and crank that bad boy up as crazy as you want to make it. All right, all right. Now, mine's not adjusting because I had it deselected. And now step three, and this is probably what I would consider the most important, come down to the layer and now we're going to expand the stroke. Now watch my layers panel. <laughs> Boom. Notice here, I'm going to call this stroke. What it did, it expanded the stroke, that big 80 point monster as its own layer. And now we're going to come up to the fill and I'm going to put zero fill on it. And when it comes to stroke, I'm going to make that black. Now you see there's no stroke on it right now. Watch this push the dash line on it, crank that bad boy up. Now, why is it doing that, right? Why is it looking like that? Because we haven't selected and moved the stroke only to the outside. The important thing here is that you keep your width the same so that if you did a second eyeball, the seam is the same. So if this was 84 pixels here, this will be 84 pixels when you do every other seam. All right, folks, now let's see how to do this in Affinity Designer for your iPad. So we're going to come in with the ellipse tool and we're going to pull down an ellipse. Now, in order to make this easy, I'm going to make sure there's no stroke. I'm going to make sure that the ellipse is black and the stroke color is black. But again, there's no stroke. And let's do one more ellipse and bring it down just like that. Now, let's look at our layer. We're going to make this ellipse kind of an off-white so that we can see it. And we're going to drag this ellipse on top of that ellipse. So we just made kind of a rough eye, right? This is the eye we're going to use. All right. So we come to our grouping panel, and we swipe down both ellipses, and we're going to create a group. It's with this little, uh, how do I put this, this little square with the puzzle piece inside. We click on that, and now we got a group. 
awesome. Now, the whole trick on this, if you're familiar with Illustrator, again, there is an expand path option. Affinity Designer doesn't have that. So we're gonna come down, and you see how I've just selected my ellipse layer only. I'm gonna to come to my three dots, and I'm gonna duplicate, and I'm gonna bring this ellipse out. All right, so my ellipse now, in my layer, comes down below. So, notice the layer structure. The eye and the ellipse. Now, here's the trick. We come into the stroke panel, we crank up the width. Now, this is key. Notice where my alignment is. You see it's over here on the far right. I'm toggling between the middle and the far right. That is the draw to outside. Whatever this width is will be the offset of that line. So you see here it's on a 300 pixel basis there. So I'm roughly probably an eighth of an inch to a six, roughly a tenth of an inch. So I'm 53.9 points or 53.9 pixels. So when we do this part, watch this now. With this layer selected, I'm still on the ellipse layer. I'm going to come in here, and now there is a magical option called Expand Stroke. Watch this. Boom. Now, look at what just happened to my layers panel there. You see the curve that's created? Now, with that curve layer, I come back to my stroke. I make certain that my stroke is aligned with the outside, and I'm going to go with a dot. Now I have the dashed look. Now, how do I get rid of that black, right? Because I don't want the black. Well, because I'm still on this shape, I come up here, and I then come over to the black fill, and I just select no fill. And there is my offset seam pattern for this particular shape. So, there were three distinct things we did here. One, we created the eye. Secondly, we created just the layer outside, and then we aligned the stroke to the outside. Remember, this is the key. You see how I'm toggling here? The far right, right where it is now, is the key to this. And then, once we brought that thing up to the thickness we wanted, you got to make sure that you then come in and you expand the stroke. All right, hope you learned a little bit on this one. I know that was three steps to do in Affinity, what normally Illustrator can do in one, but that's how you offset a path in Affinity Designer.